For a while I've been trying to come up with a way to CNC finger joints on the flat without using dog bones. So here's the method. In the pin in one side, we use a round over bit to soften all the edges. And on the other side, we can use a combination of round over bit and a ball nose bit to match the first side. The design is done parametrically in Fusion 360 so that we can change the parameters, change the number of fingers, change the width of the boards, change the length of the boards, thickness of the boards, and everything is recalculated automatically. Changing the finger count, changing the length of the board, changing the thickness of the board. Change the width of the fingers. Now we can take a look at the cam operations. I called one board the tail board, another board the pin board, but I'm not sure it's correct given that it's not a traditional dovetail. So first operation is just clearing out the stock so that the fingers are exposed. The next operation will be round over of all the edges. This is so that it can match the curve that's inherent in machining from the board in the other direction. So problem with CNC is you can never cut a square inside corner. So we have to use the round over bit to create a, a round edge that will match the inside corner of the other board. Everything here is a quarter inch, so it's a quarter inch round over, quarter inch straight, and a quarter inch ball nose. I'll turn the hide the stock and then hide the model so that you can see that the machining operations match the model. The other side is more interesting because here we have to use a ball nose also in addition to the round over. So the first operation is the same, just clearing out the fingers. Next, we create the shoulder so that 
when the pieces go together, you don't see the round edges on the inside, that there's a perfectly square inside corner between the tailboard and the pinboard. Now we do the roundovers. So the edge on this side matches the round inside edge on the other board. And then the final operation is a bit more complicated. Here we use the ball nose to create another concave surface to match the other board.